What's up guys? Welcome back to Mr. Sue's Corner. It is Monday, May 18th, Motivation Monday. It's also our last full week of online learning. It's going to be my last full week of Mr. She's Corner and having you to post your answers on the discussion board on Schoology. I'm going to finish my last full week of Mr. She's Corner on a strong note, as I hope my seniors finish their uh, high school career on a strong note and all my underclassmen finish their school year on a strong note. So. Let's just dive right into the lesson today. Uh, last week, Twitter told employees that they'd be allowed to work from home forever. So pass the whole uh, corona situation that's going on. Uh, but jobs that require being physically present will still have to come in. And no, But no one is allowed into Twitter's headquarters in San Francisco until uh, September of this year. So regardless of your position, you can't go into HQ at all. You have to stay working from home. Um, so... Twitter was the first big tech company to do this. They said way back in March, hey, employees, work from home. And then all these other tech companies followed suit. Uh, Google and Facebook uh, made working from home optional until 2021. So they said, hey, the rest of this calendar year, employees, stay home, work from home, uh, enjoy your comfies, hang out with your dogs and cats, stay, stay at home. Uh, we'll revisit this in 2021. Uh, Amazon also uh, said this to their staff. They said um, they told staffers that they could continue to work from home through October 2nd if their job allowed it. So obviously, if you were an Amazon, if you work in an Amazon warehouse, you have to go into the office. But if you're a uh, middle management or uh, you know a higher higher up exec in Amazon, you can work from home. Uh, Microsoft said something very similar to Amazon, but then I was going along with these tech companies and then I stumbled upon Tesla and Tesla was in a dispute with California. They want the complete opposite. They want to open up and produce. They want their employees coming into the office and continuing to work. Uh, Elon Musk uh, actually told the state of California if they can't open up, we're going to move HQ to Texas. California saw this and saw the economic impact this could have on their state and said, okay, Tesla, you can open up and continue uh, with production. So uh, I wanted to talk about that last week, but forgot Friday we didn't have school, so that's on me, my bad. Um, but anyway, so Twitter is, going back to Twitter, Twitter could uh, begin this super mega trend that all these other tech companies could follow. So then I was thinking about what are the benefits? Who benefits from this? And what are these, you know, what are these benefits for these groups? I could think of three groups that this benefits. The employees, the company itself, and the cities that these, uh, just cities in general. So, employees, and I'm going to give you my experience from working at home. Employees, I thought of two benefits for employees. One, they can work at home and live where they want, and they get to save money since they don't have to uh, uh, live in an expensive city. So, if I don't have to work in San Francisco, and I can work in, I don't know, call it Montana. Yeah, I'm going to go work in Montana because I can save significant money on my rent, on my day-to-day, -day, on my monthly budget, right? I don't have to worry about rent. I don't have to worry about a high mortgage payment. That's how it benefits the employees. So I could be working for a West Coast company while living in New Jersey uh, or Pennsylvania or New York, wherever. Um, I don't necessarily have to live in those uh, cities. So that's how employees benefit. And I can tell you that since I've been working from home, I've developed a healthier lifestyle and a better routine. Uh, but I don't know if I can continue working from home. I, I miss being in school. Anyway, so company. How does a company benefit? Uh, they don't have to pay as much rent, right? You don't have to have these giant um, business offices to fit all your employees in. And then also, that's that's the first one. And the second one is they could pay workers less since they aren't living in an expensive city. Um, they can also get a more diverse worker, right? So I don't have to be paying San Francisco wages if my employees aren't living in San Francisco or they don't have to live in San Francisco. I can pay them, you know, roughly whatever, anything. But then I can also grab talent from um, people that, you know, aren't city people. I can grab these, uh, you know, these uh, qualified workers that might live in, I don't know, a rural area like Kansas. Uh, I can grab them and I can have them work at home. Uh, so that's how companies benefit. And cities, uh, cities benefit, but they also uh, don't benefit. But I'm going to talk about how they can benefit. Uh, they could alleviate, uh, it could alleviate the housing crunches and traffic congestion. So that's the first one. And the last one is uh, could keep qualified workers in their home states. 
So that's how cities can benefit. That's how um, that, those are all the benefits that I could think of. And here's your first question of uh, this video is what is another area that could benefit? So I just said employees, companies and cities. Who else could benefit? Make sure you put your response on Schoology in uh, on the uh, discussion board. So some negatives, right? We went with the positives and I'm going to hit you with some negatives. Some negatives. Think about it, right? Uh, people have been working from home for about two months. Uh, do, uh, do employees really want to work from home forever? I just told you, I, def I definitely can't. I just can't. Uh, I want to go into work. I want to get into my classroom. I want to interact with my students. Um, so, but can there, can that type of employee work from home forever? I don't know. I'm not that kind of, I'm not that kind of employee, so I don't know. Um, and then could they lose a uh, key essential collaboration with its employees, right? So there's only so much you can collab on a Zoom meeting or on FaceTime or through an email, right? You can, I mean, collab and think and come up with better ideas when you're working with somebody. Um, it's a lot of ifs and coulds and buts, but uh but we'll only time will really tell so uh i was really thinking about i gotta start wrapping up i was really thinking about what else could also be impacted first thing i thought about was cars right uh people aren't going to be putting as many miles on their cars not, not, not a lot of wear and tear not as much oil changes not not as many tire changes whatever so the auto industry and the car industry uh could be impacted but then i was thinking about what else what else could be impact, impacted and I'll, I have a whole page of this, but I'll, I'll summarize it, is real estate. So if more companies follow, uh, Morgan Stanley and Barclays uh, are also allowing employees to work from home. Uh, this could be a turning point, turning point for commercial real estate uh, that has been gaining steam for over a hundred years. So people, so going to the office or going to work means literally leaving your house, getting in your car, uh, you know, drive, fight traffic and get to an office complex and work there nine to five and then leave and uh, fight the traffic home and get home, right? That's how work used to be. That's how people like now associate going to work, right? That's how they associate work. They separate work from home. Now though, might not be that. Now uh, these real estate, uh, you know, so these this, uh, commercial real estate has been gaining steam over time because of that uh, ideology of having to leave your home to work. Um, so it's been gaining the steam over 100 years. So uh, there are, you know, some hesitance from the execs of these companies. Uh, they may be hesitant to allow their employees to come back into the office, and with less money coming in, they could save money by not uh, renewing their leases. So it makes sense, right? So uh, if my employees are doing what I'm asking them to do at home, why bring them in? Why bring them into the office that I'm not using? So I'm still being able to uh, operate at a certain level with my employees working from home. I could just cut ties with this lease, right? Pretty simple. Not really. Um, so uh, so these uh, real estate, uh, commercial real estate leases often last 10 years. So you can't just pull out right now. Uh, and it's uh, hard making such a long-term 10-year decision uh, based off of a short time period and on certain time period like what we're going through right now. Uh, maybe there will be a combination of both work from home and work from work, um, but there are modifications that should be made, like social distancing, maybe working every other day, uh, etc., stuff like that. So, here's your second question as we wrap up this video. Do you agree with Twitter's decision to have its employees work from home? Explain. Uh, so, I can continue talking about this, but I'm running out of time. Uh, for my Monday motivation. So hopefully we're starting off our last full week of online learning on a great note. Uh, make sure you post your discussions, uh, your answers to my questions on Schoology. I'll repeat them. Question one, what is another area that could benefit? And question two is, do you agree with Twitter's decision to have its employees working from home? Explain. Check out the bell ringer in the about section of this video. And hey, Summer's almost here. Let's start, let's end the school year off on a great note. Begin summer on a great note. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.